Hey, what's going on? Seth here from RE Tipster. Hey, in this video, I want to show you something that I think a lot of people overlook when they are trying to build lists with a data service like DataTree. And what I'm about to show you does not just apply to DataTree. This works with pretty much any data service out there that can be used for this purpose for building a mailing list or any kind of a marketing list to contact property owners. And for DataTree, it's right here. When you go over here to the map, you can click on this pencil and you'll see a few different drawing tools. So there's freehand, polygon, coordinate, and radius and they all do a similar thing it's just a little bit different in how you can actually draw on the map and the idea behind this is say for myself as a land investor in a lot of cases when I'm trying to create a new list of property owners to send mail to I'm just going straight over here to this advanced search tool and I start by selecting a state and a county and then I keep going on from there where I can continue filtering the property type and the property size and all this stuff but what if I don't just want to search by one county? What if I want to search by certain criteria within a very specific geographic area? That's where these drawing tools can come into play. I've got Kansas City pulled up here because it's a good example where it's a city that doesn't just border on more than one county, but it borders on more than one state. So it's like kind of crazy in terms of, okay, which county, which state do I start in? And in this case, I'll just start with this freehand tool, for example. So it's just a matter of drawing on the map wherever you want the properties to be physically located. So I can just you know, click down and hold. And as you can see here, I am drawing this little area. And whenever I let go, now from here, I can just click apply. And at this point, it's not looking in any specific county. It's just looking at the properties in this area that I just drew. And I could go from here to advanced search. And you can see just starting out here, it's not starting with a state or a county. It's starting with this shape that I just drew. So when and why would you want to use this kind of tool? Well, you can probably use your own imagination to think of different scenarios when this might come into play. But you know, some examples might be, maybe you're only trying to contact people who live within a certain subdivision. You can literally draw lines around that subdivision once you find it. Or say if you only want to contact people who live along a certain stretch of highway, same thing. You could draw along that highway and only reach out to those property owners. A similar thing might apply if you're only trying to find property owners around a certain lake or along a certain stretch of river or along a specific mountain side or mountain range or fill in the blank if you have any specific area where you only want to start with property owners right there and then filter them further beyond that but you know you don't want them located anywhere else aside from this one specific area that you can draw on a map that's when this kind of tool can be extremely useful. Another thing that might make sense for people in the land investing business is I've heard some people refer to it as the donut map, where, for example, if we wanted to go here and choose the polygon tool, and I'll just show you how this one works. It's very similar to the freehand tool. And a lot of land investors are looking for rural properties, but they want those properties to be near a big metropolitan area like Kansas City, for example. So like we're not looking for the urban inner city properties in Kansas City proper, we're looking for the properties in the areas surrounding Kansas City, maybe by like one or two or even three hours around the city. If you just want to hit all those areas in one shot around whatever city you're looking at, this would be one way to do that. So this is very unscientific. I haven't measured this out very well, but I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to uh, click over here. You can kind of see the lines being formed. I'm going to go around this area. Keep going, keep going and keep going. Now we're not done yet. So we want to go up here now, maybe to, I don't know, this area like this, keep going around, keep going around, keep going around. Again, this is very imprecise. Just trying to show you the idea and the basic concept of how this works and go up here, go right there, and then go all the way back to where we started right here. And now you can see we've got what kind of looks like a donut around Kansas City. And uh, just looking at this, I could probably redo this a lot better, but you get the idea where what we've just done is highlighted these areas around a city and you could apply this to any city. You wouldn't even have to do it around a city if you didn't want to. Just pick whatever geographic range you're looking for and draw this kind of a shape around it and click apply. And now once we go to start filtering our list, it's not gonna base it on whatever state or county we're selecting. It's just gonna use this 
area that we created. Some other examples of how we could do this would be uh, with coordinates. I've not really done this one because it requires so much precision, but if you know exactly where you want the points of your shape on the map to be, you can literally put in the coordinates. I mean, this is like perfection if you know exactly where you want everything to be. Or you could do this radius tool, which is kind of a brain dead simple way to do it where you just click on the map and then you pull it out and it draws a perfect circle around whatever area you are searching for. But just wanted to show that. I know uh, this is something that I actually went years without really knowing or using this tool that much. But once I saw it, I was like, yeah, I can see a lot of different ways to apply this that uh, could be pretty useful for a lot of people. And keep in mind, if you're not using data tree, that's okay. I know like even Zillow has this kind of thing. If you're searching for properties that way, pretty much any data service I've ever used that has a map integration with it you can do this kind of thing on there. And if you're using one where you can't do that, then maybe you should find another one like DataTree, for example. So if you do want to give DataTree a try, you can actually get discounted pricing for the life of your subscription to DataTree. I'm not saying it's the right fit for every person, in every situation, but a lot of different people use it for a lot of different reasons in many different industries. So it's a very useful software, depending on who you are. But if you do want that discounted pricing for the life of your subscription, if you decide to use it, check out retipster.com forward slash DataTree. I'm going to have a link to that beneath this video as well, if you want to check it out. That is an affiliate link and retipster does get a small commission from anybody who signs up through that link just fyi but uh, if you have another data service that's already working well for you and it has this functionality then sounds like you're already all set but either way i just wanted to make sure you were aware of this tool within data tree and even if you were just to remind you that it can be pretty useful in a lot of different scenarios as is usually the case with this kind of thing it just depends on your creativity and just having the idea of when and why and how you could use it so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.